morning, boys and girls. Good morning. How have been your day? Fine, thank you. Fine, thank you. Did you sleep well? Yes. I hope you have a wonderful night. Yes. And let's start with a wonderful prayer. Let's bow our heads. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this day. Bless this day. Thank you for giving us our good day. You have blessed us. You have given us strength for waking up today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now I would like to introduce the present worship team. Ebenezer, 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 what a wonder you are. I love you so, so much, Ebenezer. Ebenezer, what a wonder you are. the present worship team yes. and now let's introduce Chakaro and let's clap good morning everybody good morning again everybody good morning, wow it's good to see you and we thank God for another day that he has given us welcome to this service today now, do you remember the story we learned last time with teacher Gladys? She, yeah, good. She touched something on overcoming fear. Something on overcoming fear. fear. And she said, when you are fearful, it means you are afraid. It means you are afraid. afraid. And we should never be afraid. Because when we are afraid, we are not even able to smile. We are just scared. We have a scary face. So we should always be strong and not be afraid. When we are not afraid, we feel peaceful, we feel calm, and we feel so much confidence in us and we can be able to smile. We can be able to smile. smile. Can you show me a big smile? 
well done everybody so when fear is kicked out of our lives we are able to smile we are able to smile and teacher gladys told us that these fears that we have like fearing the dark or fearing heights those ones who just go to Jesus and tell him, I am afraid, and he can get them out of your life. He can get them out of your life. So we should never be afraid. We should never be afraid. And today, we are going to have another story which will help us in becoming strong, and we won't be fearful. Because when we read this story, we'll see how the disciples of Jesus overcame fear. They overcame fear fear and they were strong now our uh, bible story it's about coming the storm it's about coming the storm. storm who knows what that storm is have you ever had something like a storm yes. the word storm yes. what does it mean who knows yes it means about the voice of god okay let's talk about that well done it's a good try now a storm it is that strong wind that comes, and when it comes, sometimes it comes with rain. Sometimes it comes with rain. And when that strong wind comes and you are outside, you will see the trees moving side by side because the wind is so strong. The wind is so strong. In other times, if a ship is in the ocean, in the waters, you'll find it going side by side because the wind is very strong the weed is very strong so now let's talk about jesus there was a time he was in a boat and before he went to the boat let's talk about his mission jesus was sent by god to come on earth so that he can tell people about the good news all about god he can teach people the word of god he can teach people the word of god so when he came he used to heal the sick he used to heal the sick. What is this? Do you know that Jesus healed the sick? Yes. Leprosy. Leprosy. Well done. Any other disease? Who knows? A disease that Jesus healed the people? Yes. He, he healed someone who is blind. Well done. He healed the blind and he also raised the dead. Those people who are dead, Jesus would even raise them. For example, he raised Lazarus. So now, people liked him. And wherever they, Jesus went, so many people followed him. Did you know that? So many people were following Jesus. Even little children, they were following Jesus so that he can bless them. So Jesus was doing a job that he was asked by God to do. So one day, Jesus went to the other side of the sea. And now, if it's through the sea, he has to use a boat. So when he was going to the other side of the sea, he was going to the other side of the sea, he went to tell people about God. And people were so many. They came to see him. They brought their children to him. And he did so many good things for, for them. So by the end of the day, it was evening. And Jesus want to, wanted to go back to the other side of the sea. So he got into a boat together with his helpers. His helpers were his disciples perfect his helpers were his disciples so he got into a boat with his disciples so that they can sail to the other side and when they, they got into the boat to some extent jesus slept because he had done a great job talking to the people and telling them about god so he slept now the disciples the disciples were awake and they continued sailing so they continued sailing and then a storm came. A storm yeah. came. And we've said that a storm is a strong wind. And sometimes it also comes with rain. And when it comes, it shakes everything. So when the storm came, what do you think happened to the boat? Yes? It started moving sideways. Yeah, the boat started moving sideways. So now the disciples, hey, they became... Scared. Yes, scared. they became scared. They became scared and they went and called Jesus. Jesus was asleep. They went and woke him up. Jesus, Jesus, we are drowning. We are drowning. Because now when the boat was being hit by these strong weeds, they felt that this boat would sink. And you know, no nobody ever likes to sink in water. Do you like sinking in water? No. 
myself, I don't. So the boat would sink and they went and called Jesus. When Jesus woke up, he just stood, lifted his hand, and he said to the sea, be quiet. And it was calm. So he said, be still. And the wind was calm. So there was no storm again. There was no storm again. So do you think the disciples continued to fear? They didn't continue fearing. The fear went. The fear went. went away. So even ourselves, when we call upon Jesus, when we are afraid, our fear goes, it goes away. It goes away. So the disciples, they were able to see that Jesus was able to calm the weeds and the waves. You know, in the water, there are these waves that are in the water. So he was able to calm them down and it was calm again. It was calm again. again. So whatever fears we have, whether it's about uh, dark or heights or being left alone, because sometimes we get a little mean and tell our friends, I won't be your friend again. So don't be afraid. Just pray and God will talk to your friend and your friend will come and tell you, can we pray now? So we should always pray and tell Jesus what we are afraid of. What we are afraid of. So we should not fear because he who is in us is greater than the fears that we experience. So he who is in us is greater. And who is in us? God is in us. So we should not be afraid. We should not be afraid. But for everything, we take it to God in prayer. Yes. And then we'll be fine. So before we end, we have um, our memory verse. And our memory verse will come from Psalms 46 and verse 10. Say Psalms 46 and verse 10. Psalms 46 and verse 10. And what does it say? Those who can read. Well done. Be still and know that I am God. So we should not we should not be afraid. Okay. Now we can sing this song that says um, with Christ in my heart. Do you know it? Yes. Okay, let's try that. With Christ in my heart, I can smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. With Christ in my heart, I can smile at the storm. As we go sailing home. Sailing, sailing home. Sailing. Sailing home with Christ in my heart, I can smile at the storm as we go sailing home. Well done, everybody, and may God bless you. Wow, that was a nice service. I hope you liked it. And now I would like to finish with a nice, good prayer. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this day. I hope you have blessed every, every children in this church. Bless the whole countries in, in, in the world. Bless the children. Give them strength for, to overcome fear and waves. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And the children say, Amen. We have come to the end of the service. See you next Sunday. Bye. Bye.